Hi everyone, I hope everyone is doing well. Today I will explain to you how to do the optimization for the uh, Lazy Boy Ultimate. Uh, basically I sent uh, set files to everyone, but it worked for some people and it didn't work for others. Basically this is a guide for uh, how much this EA can, can make. So you can do your own set files and you can do your own optimization at home with your, with your computer. Uh, what you have to do first, you have to make sure that you logged into your account that you want to do optimization for. So if you want to do optimization for IC markets, log into it, log into your account. You want to do for FX choice or any other account, make sure you're logged into it first. Second, load your uh, expert advisor, make sure it's uh, gold, one minute time frame, customer period 2021, January 1st, 2021, March 10th, which is today's date. Uh, forward, you can leave, leave a no, delays 10 milliseconds. Modeling, this is very important. You have to use every tech based on real text. This is the closest to real life. Uh, deposit 10,000 USD 1 to 100 leverage. Optimization, usually it's set to disabled. So if you if it's set to disabled and you do start, you click on the start, it will actually do back testing. But if you want to do optimization, then you have to select here fast generic. Now you can use also slow complete, but the problem is with that, it will take very, very long time, it will take days. So we want to use fast generic, it will take a few hours, and then choose balance plus max profit factor. Now we want to head to inputs. When you go to inputs, everything will be unchecked or unchecked. So you go all the way up, make sure that everything here is, is set uh, correctly first. Uh, commodities is true. Lot size is 0 0.1 false false so every other section is false and then once you get to period of gain factor decider uh, you can put the tech mark here and then uh, start at one step one stop at 50 so we have 50 steps and then make sure that uh, uh, enable disable automatic gain factor decider is set to true otherwise this will not work now we go down a bit more, false, 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 and then once we get to enable, disable loss limit, limiter uh, system, you have to make sure that it's true. You have to make sure that it's true at its specific amount. So select specific amount, and then take these two. First one, which is specify loss limit amount. So we want to use one, one, 50. It will give us 50 steps. S next to that, open how many opposite positions every time. Also, we want to use 1, 1, 20. And it will give us 20 steps. Go down a bit more and make sure that we have enable, disable, free gliding system. Make sure it's true. Make sure it's true. And we then we have the how many positions to open at a time. Take that, switch it on. And also 1, 1, 50, and it will give us 50 steps. Here, false. Enable, disable, balancing system. Make sure that this is on and it's true. And then we want to say it's by count. We want to say it's by count, not by weight. And then we go to when equity is below this, balancing will trigger. So we want to switch this on. And we want to set it to minus one, minus one, minus hundred. It will give us hundred, hundred steps. Make sure that this uh, field is always in minus because if it's N uh, positive, it will not work. Balancing system will not work because only when your equity is in minus, the balancing system will kick in. So starting from minus one, minus two, minus hundred, minus, minus one thousand, whatever you want. So again, we want 100 steps, so we all we put it in minus 1, starting minus 1, stepping minus, uh, minus 1, so we'll go minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, and so forth, all the way to minus 100. So we give us, it will give us 100 steps. So now if we go down all the way, make sure everything else is false, 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 again false, and this uh, last addition in, in the code will also all be uh, false. Now you can see the amount of tries is huge, but because we have the fast generic, then it will not take that long. Now after you've done all this, 
after you selected all this and you've done all the numbering, then you set you click on start. Of course, I will not do that because it will take hours. It will take at least six to to ten hours. It might be longer for slower machines. But after it's done, once you click actually on start, this tab will will show, and then this tab will show. So two tabs will show right away. If it doesn't show, if it doesn't uh, switch to it, then click on it to switch to it. Now after you, after it's done, it will, you'll see that it's, it's given us a lot of dots, and it will give us results. And between these results, it will, it will show you the profit, total trades, how many trades it's done, uh, draw down, I will do, and it will show us the recovery factor. And it will also give us the tabs that we selected here. So we selected five tabs, we selected five epits, which is period of gain time, of gaining, uh, of gain, uh, what is it? Uh, period of gains and gain factor. And then uh, next to that, we have uh, specify loss amount limit or loss limit amount. Open how many are uh, opposite positions. And fourth and fifth is the uh, equity um, decider or trigger. Now, five of these will actually show here, but I'm, I'm hiding them because uh, these are for only paying uh, clients, but you can, you can figure your own. So basically, uh, once it's done, it will give us the inputs, these five inputs for every result. So for the first result, it will give us the gain factor, it will give us the uh, uh, loss limiter trigger, it will give us all these. Once you get these, uh, you have to look at a few things. Uh, first, if you right-click anywhere in here, it will give us this uh, menu. You can make sure you have drawdown selected. Make sure recovery factor is selected. Sharp, uh, sharp uh, ratio we don't want. Expected payoff, payoff we don't we don't want. And profit factor you can enable. You can disable. It's up to you. And then. Uh, to show us these important things. Now, what you want to look for, you want to look for the least drawdown with the highest profit and highest recovery factor. Highest recovery factor. So if we do like this here, it will give us the most profit. If you do this, it will give us the highest drawdown. We don't want, we don't want the highest, we want the lowest uh, drawdown. Of course, if you choose very low, it might not give you that much of a profit. Also, for the recovery factor, you can see that we have 11, we have 9. This is very high, which is very good. 9 can give us 1 million, 46,000, 7, and 7. Uh, so this is very good to choose. We can, we can choose this, and then we uh, close, uh, 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 along this line, you can get the gain factor, and you can get the uh, loss limiter trigger amount, you can get all five inputs. Now, when you, once you get these five inputs, write them down, and write beside them that this these five inputs will give us one million, whatever. This uh, this will give us nine, uh, 900,000, 900, and so forth. So what I do is I look for the maximum profit with fair amount of recovery factor and good drawdown. Total trades is also important. So basically here it says that it will make 56,000 trades. And note that this is only in the period of two months and nine days. From January to March, two months. And then we have from beginning of January to 10th of March, we have nine days. So two months and, 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 and nine days, it made it will make 56,000 trades and it will gain 2,573,135 dollar. And as I said, beside this, you can see on the other side, you can see all the uh, inputs that you should use. So write them down and then come here and then make sure you go back here and then you do disable for the optimization, we have already the figures, so we don't want uh, optimization any anymore. We want to do back testing, so that's why we disable that. And then we go in the inputs, and then I can put my inputs that I got. 
So what did I get? I get, for example, period was uh, 30, then I put 30, and then I go down to uh, the other um, the other fields, which is inputs. For example, here 11, and then we have the um, uh, op how many op uh, opposite position, for example, 12 or 21, whatever. And then we go down to the uh, gliding system, and you, uh, we say the trigger, uh, it gave us, for example, minus 20, then I put minus 20. And then after that, after I put all my inputs that I got from here, from here for, for this uh, profit, for example, or for this one, or for this one, then I can do start, and I will do the back testing. Make sure the best back testing matches the amount of profit that gives you here. Also, what you want to be looking for is the chart. <coughs> Make sure that the chart um, looks good. It doesn't have a lot of drops. It doesn't have big drops. And it has big gains. If, if the chart looks good, the, um, the amount of profit is as well as high. And drawdown is not as big. Also, recovery factor is good, high. Then you can use this for your real trading or your forward testing. I hope that this is uh, clear enough. And if you guys have any questions, just let me know in the group and uh, I'll be answering them. I'll be happy to answer them. Have a good day.